Tifu by maybe accidentally inviting my plumber over for Thanksgiving. My plumber is a really nice guy with a heart of 24k gold. I've actually started smiling when I clog the toilet because it means he's coming over with his Italian accent and his arcane sense of humor last time as he walked in and saw my ceramic cactus sculpture, he remarked it a look alike you a green tube guy, my friend. I honestly couldn't say what it is about him that excites me so much I guess we all have people in our lives that we for some reason just enjoy being around. Yesterday, as he fixed my sink, we had one of our most intimate conversations ever. I told him about my family history of alcoholism, and he opened up about how his ex-wife was supposed to join him in the States a few years back but instead fell in love with another man. He lives alone here while all his family is still in Italy, and he just had a major falling out with three of his best friends. After he was done working, I opened a bottle of tequila and we kept taking shots and talking until we were beyond fucked. At one point, I guess I felt really bad about his situation, so I invited him to Thanksgiving dinner and he began to weep. We hugged and he told me he appreciated it so much. Then we took three more shots and he drove home. My wife was already displeased to come home and find me drunk on a Sunday and then when I told her that our plumber was coming to Thanksgiving dinner, she went off. We've only been married a few months, and this is going to be our first Thanksgiving as a family. Her parents and siblings are coming over and it's a huge deal for her she really wants to prove herself as a hostess and an adult. She says there is no way the plumber is coming to Thanksgiving. Now I have to call him or something and let him know he can't come, but that will shatter my heart and make his next house call very awkward. I might polish off the tequila tonight and send him a text or something. My palms are really sweaty as I type. TLDR got drunk and invited the plumber to my wife's inaugural Thanksgiving. Then we took three more shots and he drove home. WTF. Just let him come over. You already asked. It meant a lot to him. Kind of shitty to go back on it now. Who knows, could be the start of a great tradition. I've actually started smiling when I clogged the toilet. Buddy, you don't ever let the world take that away from you. Then we took three more shots and he drove home. Sounds like somebody effed up way worse than you that night. Better make sure he's still alive and not incarcerated so that he can even come to Thanksgiving dinner. I always find it odd when people say something like my plumber. Like how much shit are you breaking that requires you to have a plumber? I hired a plumber once like 7 years ago to do some work when I bought my house, but otherwise that's all I've needed him for. Tifu by getting my plumber drunk as fuck and letting him drive home. Obviously you are going to have to have sex with a plumber to convince him not to come over. Lol thought this was gonna be a wholesome post in which in the comments OP says he'll invite the plumber but now he's just getting defensive cause someone out of concern told him to just lay off the booze a bit if he's constantly making rash decisions when on it. Update after Thanksgiving please. I opened a bottle of tequila and we kept taking shots and talking until we were beyond fucked. Then we took three more shots and he drove home. What the fuck? He's got a heart of gold but he doesn't give two shits about the safety of all the other motorists on the road? So he drove home super drunk? Foreshadowing a toilet will be a plumber will be needed. I actually felt sorry for OP until I saw the responses he gave to others on this forum. Why did he drive home after taking so many shots? Clogged the toilet on the morning of Thanksgiving and now he has a great reason to be there for lunch couple glasses of wine and now he's staying for dinner too. Problem solved. You let the guy drive off drunk? Some friend you are. Family history of alcoholism. Cracks open bottle of tequila, proceeds to get plumber friend drunk before they drive themselves home. The invite to Thanksgiving is the least of the issues here. I read this from the perspective of the wife being the one doing shots with the plumber right up until the fourth paragraph when you mentioned your wife. Sounded like an affair waiting to happen until I realized it was a bloke speaking and it was just bro love. Who's taking bets the wife leaves him for his alcoholism? No one saw any problem with the plumber taking shots and driving home? Come on up. Try not drinking so much? Little insane your response to being too drunk is to continue drinking to solve the situation. After disclosing your family's history with alcohol abuse. Your wife is deservedly upset. Is the plumber's name Mario? Clog all the shitters the night before Thanksgiving. I doubt this happened. Something tells me your pants are on fire. This sounds like a shit post. She really wants to prove herself as a hostess and an adult. Flipping out and refusing to show kindness and compassion, this is not how one proves themselves as a quality hostess, 
or as a stable adult. I believe that I'd be finding the nicest way possible to express this, and a strong intent to have your newly invited friend over for dinner. A discussion with your spouse would have been ideal, and I understand her frustration, but she isn't showing many signs of maturity. Don't give in to your wife here. Kindness is never a bad thing. Wow, that post history ATL East this story you concocted is humorous, getting drunk with Mario. I'm more concerned that you let a drunk plumber drive, that's fucked up my dude. Italian plumber likes the green tube guy? He fixed your sink after you clogged the toilet? Lol, people falling for this story are fucking stupid. Let the poor guy come over. Don't ask for permission, ask for forgiveness half joking, very limited applications for this phrase. Maybe stop getting day drunk with strangers and letting them drive home. I was waiting for some Mario joke and was delightfully surprised that there wasn't. Who cares invite him as a friend, she should understand after his story. Honestly my grandmother tutored immigrants invited a family over for Thanksgiving it was one of the best. My first year out of college I also went to a co-worker's Thanksgiving, also a lot of fun to meet new people. I get that you have a family history with alcoholism but it was pretty irresponsible to drink so much that you allowed him to drive away after also drinking. I know it's cringe to pass judgment on a stranger on Reddit but I hope you're getting help. I'm sure by now you realize that in future you need to check with your wife before inviting someone to a meal. But this time I would go to her and apologize and beg for forgiveness. Offer to help her as much as possible. But ask her not to be punished the plumber for your mistake. One extra person shouldn't make a huge difference, and he was so excited to be invited. If my boyfriend was to invite someone into my home on a holiday which is usually regarded as a family holiday, I would open my home to them without hesitation. Everyone should have somewhere to go or someone to be with, and my house will always be an option to anyone who doesn't. I understand the stress of wanting to be a good hostess and not mess things up, but I wholeheartedly disagree with your wife. Well your wife already failed. What is wrong with a husband wanting to invite a friend over for Thanksgiving, plumber or not? Ah, you're aware your family have problems with alcohol, and from this post you clearly do too. I think it's time you cut down massively, before actually quitting. The plumber may not be alive right now if he drove home that drunk, and it wouldn't just be him that he's taken out on his journey, a good person would not have let him drive home like that. Your wife has every right to be angry, but it's more from your alcohol abuse than anything else. Please. For your own health and safety, your friend's safety and for your marriage, stop drinking, seek help. Are we not going to address the fact that you have an excessive amount of plumbing issues here? What's going on? You could spin it that she'll look even more awesome if he's there. You let that Italian plumber have a Mario party with you. I see in your comment history that you are a fabulist, who has made up any number of stories starring yourself in a variety of jobs ranging from Lowe's worker to lawyer to doctor. I assume this story is fictional, too. I appreciate it when people clearly show me that they should be blocked. Goodbye. Then we took three more shots and he drove home just gotta say Americans are way too fucking relaxed when it comes to drink driving. There are so many didn't happen moments in this entire story. Bro you gotta make a whole ass Thanksgiving dinner for him. After he was done working, I opened a bottle of tequila and we kept taking shots and talking until we were beyond fucked. Until this point I really thought you were a girl and thought now some Mario and Peach action will follow. Let him come over. Your wife will get over it. Your wife is missing the point of Thanksgiving. She really wants to prove herself as a hostess and an adult. And what better way to prove that than to have someone who's alone come to your family table in a time of giving thanks. You didn't F you, but your wife is planning on doing so. This made me sad reading. You were probably his only ray of happiness in his lonely life and now it's going to be crushed like a roach, sad face, broken heart, crying face, poor guy. Shame on your wife, Thanksgiving is about giving, sharing smiles and good food, crying face, crying face, she's lost the true value and meaning of the holiday. Let him come. What you did was kind. In the spirit of Thanksgiving. She, on the other hand is totally missing the point. I'd let him come over and go hang out with him. Plumber did not drive home shit-faced because the entire story didn't happen. What does your boyfriend from your previous post think about all this? Wait until everyone is sober and try your wife again. There is nothing that is more Thanksgiving than taking in someone who doesn't have anywhere else to be. I hosted a big Friendsgiving for years, we got up to 30 people once. It's much, 
Much simpler these days but all this week I've been wishing I had more folks coming. Back in the day, nobody needed an invite, everyone knew there would be enough food and happy faces to go around. And that's what the day is all about. Being grateful for the things in your life. P.S. Please tell me his name is Mario or Luigi. I need this.